it's time to nail the lies that have been told by the Scottish National Party. They lost the battle and the argument for independence on its own merits because Alistair and others proved that the risks were too big. And now they've tried to win the argument by using the National Health Service as their battering ram to force through independence. But they're not telling you the truth. The Scotland Act, 1998, that is the Act. The powers within that Act for the Scottish Parliament to raise taxes, if it wishes to do so, to fund the National Health Service. It is not true that they are powerless to do anything about the National Health Service. They have the power. The issue is they will not use the power to improve the National Health Service. And last night and this morning in the Daily Record, thanks to the promptings of the Labour Party in Scotland, Alistair Darling, Joanne Lamont and others, the three leaders of the main UK parties made it absolutely clear that there is now a timetable for more powers for the Scottish Parliament, that that Scottish Parliament will be permanent and valued as part of the UK Constitution, that Scotland will always be involved and engaged in the discussions about the future of the UK Constitution, that the purpose of the United Kingdom is that there is equity between the nations and regions of this whole country to ensure security and opportunity for all, that the Barnett formula that guarantees resources to this country as to the other parts of the United Kingdom will continue to meet the needs as they arise in each part of the United Kingdom. And they also said very clearly, and this is what I want to mention and talk about for a few minutes, that because of the continued allocation of funds from the Barnett formula and because of the power to raise revenues within the Scottish Parliament, then the final decision about what we spend on the National Health Service is not going to be made by anybody from outside Scotland. It is a matter for the Scottish people themselves with the powers we already have without having to go for a separate state. 